What is up everybody? Welcome to my channel or welcome back if you're already one of my fellow subscribers. Thank you so much for staying in tune with these videos, watching when I post, watching all the videos, okay? Thank you so much for all of that. Now, whew, it feels like it's been forever since I got in front of a camera and like talked so y'all, I don't know, like, my last few videos have only been, like, voiceovers. Before we get into the video, seriously, um, I'm gonna need y'all to subscribe. For those of you who have not already, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that red button that says S-U-B-S-R-I-B-E. You know I had to think about it, but I'm pretty sure that's, pretty sure that's how you spell it. Mm-hmm, yeah. So, go ahead and subscribe. I've been slightly under the weather a little bit with a little bit of a... <clears throat> phlegm and situation and I won't go into detail cause I'm like I'm good you know let those who are weak say I am strong so I'm strong you know what I'm saying okay no sickness will hold me down so please excuse my voice if it sounds a little congested or a little bit nasally just you okay cookie just know that we getting over a little bit of a situation so as you read by the title I'm sure that you guys came here and clicked on this video because you wanted to see what's going on with my box braids see what's up with the not list box braids um let's go in order I guess number one I love the not list box braids well if you haven't watched my videos go ahead and click the links in my description I already have two videos out about my um not list box braids so i did like the front half um well not even half honestly like the front row or two and a half that are not list <clears throat> excuse me and then the rest of them are just regular box braids because i was just being a little bit lazy plus this was the first time of me doing these box braids on myself at all period whatsoever of course i've had braids before but this is the first time of me you okay cookie this was the first time of um, me doing them on my own and I do actually really like how they turned out but I feel like they start to um, like your hair starts to come out of them sooner than with regular box braids because if you can look closely this is the root of my hair where I have the knotless box braids um, mind you don't pay attention to the color because my natural hair color well my natural hair color is black but I did dye my hair so this um what color is this 30 this 30 color is actually the color of my hair right now like the rest of this hair so that's why you don't see any more like black in the rest of the braids because my hair is dyed right now so where the color starts is actually where it starts in my real hair so I feel like if it was all black it would look, look much better but because of the color maybe it makes it look a little bit more worn some may say but other people would maybe say that um like they still look good or whatever which I do still think they look good but whatever um yeah it's been like two weeks and like two days something like that so I'm actually planning on taking these down like in a week or less like maybe in the next three days because um <clears throat> excuse me I actually have another style in mind another style that I would like to try on myself that I've never done before nor has anyone ever done on me so this will really be new but I'm super excited to try it and y'all will get a video of that so just wait and see um, and then other than that the braids I mean the braids themselves still look good of course I have a few that are like maybe a little bit loose but not really not too many they're still long um, excuse me my throat y'all I haven't done this much talking in a while like I have not done this much talking in a very long time so with this sinus situation you know sometimes it's hard to keep everything down so please excuse me but um, I don't know what else to tell y'all. <laughs> All I do at night is like tie with a scarf, which I'm a, you know, you guys will see that in the video if you watched it. So, like I said earlier, click the links in my description because I already have two videos out on it. So, do that. Other than that, when I wake up in the morning, all I do is put some mousse, um, 
like some of that foam mousse or whatever I put that like on my edges pretty much just on here and I lay my edges back down because you know when I'm in the shower or like if I go to the gym or if I sweat like even now I was sweating because it's hot outside okay my edges are kind of curled up you know they're not laid like usual they're really curly like they're not laid right now so usually I will fix them and put some gel it's a bug around here Usually I will fix them and put gel, but um, right now I don't really care because <laughs> it's hot. You know, I don't, it's hot. I'm just chilling right now. I'm really just chilling. Got my comfy clothes. I'm, I'm chilling. Now I'm finna eat because your girl hungry. But anywho, y'all, that's pretty much, I don't really know what else to say. I mean, they still look good. I guess the only difference with the box braids and the regular braids is that maybe they can start to look a little bit worn more at your edges because um because their your real hair starts off in the beginning and um once it grows out it'll you know it's more noticeable maybe or maybe i'm just tripping i don't know my hair usually kind of grows fast in braids and it also usually looks older in braids maybe because my hair is like it's really extremely thick but it's really um i'm sorry it's this bug it's really thick but it's really um slick too it doesn't um, hold braids as long as some people may hold their braids. Like some people be holding their braids for like what, two months? Me, I could never. First of all, one month, I'm tired of it. Three weeks, two and a half to three weeks, I'm like, okay sis, we need to do something else about this. But regardless of it all, the knotless box braids are super cute. Regular box braids are super cute. I'm just giving y'all a two week update and so far so good. But like I said, I do have another style in mind. So, your girl is probably going to be taking these out very soon. Like, the next three days we talking? If not three days, then five. Very soon. Within a week. Literally within, between tomorrow and a week. So, thank you guys for tuning into this video again. I've said this three times. If you haven't, then go ahead and click the links in my description. I have one video on how I tie my hair down at night when I have braids and another video on how I actually did these knotless box braids in the front and my regular box braids. I have both, okay? So click the link in the description, both of them. There'll be two. Just do it, you know? Just do it. Third time. Third time's a charm. I hope y'all got it this time. With all of that being said, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Maybe gave y'all <clears throat> maybe gave y'all a little bit of insight just on the Nautilus box braids and how they're doing. And um, but I do I do love them. I do recommend them because it's really cute, natural looking, and it's just whatever your preference is. I don't say that if you see a knot it's bad or if you don't see a knot it's good. It's just whatever your preference is. And for me, I'd probably do the knotless braids on my whole head again. Um, later because I right now I just don't have the patience for all that that's why I want to try a different style but maybe at some point <laughs> so thanks again for watching you guys subscribe turn on the post notifications give me a like if you did like the video and comment down below let me know if you want to try the box sprays or the knotless box sprays or how you think mine turned out or if you have tried them how did they turn out for you and how do you think it looks on most people just let me know what your preference is you know it's good to know these things. So thank you for watching, you guys, and catch me in my next video.